Hello, my name is Derek Garcia from LearnSBOM.com, and today I will be reviewing the CDXGen tool for generating software bill of materials. CDXGen generates SBOMs in the Cyclone DX standard in either JSON or XML form. It supports numerous languages such as .NET, Java, Python, and much more, making it a universally useful generator. It uses a command line interface, so it can be easily used within an IDE's terminal or any such category. Installation is simple using the node package manager to install the software. You can see here, it only takes a moment to install. Currently, I have a sample Python project loaded in this directory to use as a demo for generating SBOMs. Generation is as simple as passing a dash O flag to the CDXGen tool. And after a few moments, the file will be generated. In this case, I have chosen to go with the a JSON format. So if I display the output, as you can see, we have a fully let composed JSON file to the Cyclone DX standard. And if we wish to do an XML version instead, all we have to do is change the name of or the file extension. And once again, if I display the output, the SBOM is now generated in XML form. CXGen also has the additional feature to present all the components in a given project in a nice table, which I'll demonstrate now. Similar to the SBOM generation, this time I just pass the dash P flag to print. And we can see a nice table with all the components and their version numbers. While it's a nice visual, it can only be displayed to the standard output at the moment. It would be nice to be able to save the table in another file and to include the documentation. It also must be done during SBOM generation, so you're unable to simply request the table to be generated. An SBOM file must be produced as well. Overall, CDXGen is a good universal SBOM generation tool. Its compatibility is definitely its most noteworthy feature, allowing it to be used by numerous projects and having the added benefit that teams only need to learn to use a single tool rather than a new one for each project. It also allows for more robust SBOM generation. Its simple installation and use allows for easy adoption with only a few integration issues. The table presentation also provides a nice overview of any given project, although its limited application does leave a little to be desired. CDXGen appears to be currently maintained, so support may be included in the future. I'll leave any additional resources in the description below, but thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to us at learnsbomb at gmail.com. Thank you for checking out this video. If you really liked it, be sure to check out our other videos right here. And then you can also subscribe right up top here. And again, thank you. Bye-bye.